Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out and where I would really love to get my channel to be. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about a hair product. We are talking Jason Thin to Thick Hairspray with a little bit of a twist. Um, I'm going to talk to you about the effectiveness of this product, talk to you about the product. Um, I've not been using it very, very much at all, to be quite honest with you, but I have come to my judgment and I will be very very, very, very honest about it. Let's get started. Okay, so why are we looking at a hair product today? I have a passion for all things hair. At the end of the day, hair has a absolute huge impact on how we feel, and it can either make us feel on top of the world, or it can make us feel a little bit flat and really affect our confidence. And if you've got the finest of hair, it can still look super cool and super, super amazing. And if you've got the thickest of hair, it can still look really, really good. I know people battle with frizz, and of course, people have loads of different problems with hair. And of course, if you remember, <laughs> if you think about it rightly, whatever we have, we always want something different, don't we? But do you know what? Hair is a huge topic I have a huge passion for, and this one is a great product to use. However, just to get that out there straight away, it is a hairspray. I wouldn't actually say this was a hairspray. I'm going to say to you straight away, this is like your styling spray. If you've got fine textured hair, okay, this is your styling spray. So straight away, thin to thick, just to set that expectation for you, it helps the hair, okay, appear fuller, appear thicker, touchably fuller okay it makes the roots feel a little bit fuller feel as if they've got a lot more structure a lot more resistant fine hair thinning hair often is so soft and downy that actually it really struggles to hold any form so therefore it really struggles to hold any type of volume okay fine hair doesn't necessarily mean to mean to say that you're losing your hair you can naturally have fine hair thinning hair of course very different that's where you're gradually losing the amount of hair which you've got so that you can still have amazing looking hair it can be beautiful for a woman it can be super cool for a guy but you need to use the right things you need to try and address what is your problem so for a lot of people it could be sparseness a lot of people it could be volume and it could just be where whatever style it just doesn't hold that doesn't mean to say that you can't enjoy having great looking hair because you can now with this type of product this is really great if you shampoo conditions your hair and then spraying all throughout your roots i know it says hairspray and i absolutely hate the fact it says hairspray because it's not a hairspray and i'm going to show you in just a moment why this is probably the worst hairspray but a really really good amazing treatment spray okay now i say treatment spray not to treat thinning hair but to give you that real added bulk and that sort of fullness which you're trying to achieve to allow your style to stay for longer to be more easily achievable um and just give you that nice fullness that nice appearance that illusion of fuller thicker hair now you're probably wondering have i used it today yes i have i've got a little bit of spray throughout my hair that is not this spray okay i have had to just to stay smart on here whilst i'm recording this i've had to um use a different product because this has no hold whatsoever and i'm going to do this straight away so if you think this is a hairspray okay so it's a liquid one okay now it does say on here hairspray extra volume thin to thick lifts and amplifies fine hair with long lasting hold unfortunately there is no hold to this at all and this is what happens so I've, I've sprayed it far away sprayed it close all sorts of things but i'm about at arm's length width away and so i've just sprayed this on here and it's wet so straight away and you can probably tell from that, I've lost the volume straight away style. And there's no hold, there's no residue, there's literally nothing to it. So there's a hold, okay? It's got the most amazing smell. It reminds me at Christmas candy canes. It's got a beautiful smell, really fresh, really fragrant, really, really awakening, really revitalizing and it's just a really nice fresh fragrance really nice what you would like in your hair care let's talk about it a little bit more so lifts and amplifies fine hair long lasting hold now it's got no parabens no phytophthalates no sulfates no synthetic fragrances so that's really really great as well a lot of people with fine thinning hair or just wants to add bulk to their hair often worry about what's in that product and rightfully so because if you've got a really sensitive scalp the last thing you want to be doing is putting on ultra strong products which is going to agitate your scalp and possibly hinder your problem even more caramel 
<laughs> However, let's get back to this product. It is a great product, but as a styling product. So you want to use this on your roots of your hair, okay, then use a blow dryer because what that's going to do is it's going to work at lifting all of those great ingredients in here, which we're going to go into in just a moment, lifts and sort of inflates the hair a little bit. It plumps it up away from the scalp, giving that illusion of fuller, thicker looking hair. So yes, it's an absolute rubbish hairspray, but it's a really, really great volumizer and a really great product to achieve fuller more deliverable styles which is going to last throughout the day so that is really great as you can see i've used a blow dryer throughout my hair today nothing special i've just used it on my fingers pulled it through and then the last couple of minutes i've just pulled a rectangular uh, brush through just so i get a bit of a shape and a bit of a sort of contour a bit of sort of direction going on i like because i've got a bit of an area of hair under here which is a bit thinner going on at the moment so i like everything to go off to one side so i do that and you can see this product is great at just creating that volume you can see i've got that in the roots and this product really does allow you to build nice volume as you can see i've got fine hair but a lot of it but as soon as we spray this on watch to try and hold okay so i know i sprayed that close but i tried it far away good as i've tried everything but straight away there is no hold in that okay and i don't know if you can see straight away how annoying it's made my hair wet now I hate, I hate styling sprays what make your hair wet because of course fine hair is very light. There's no, there's often no weight in fine hair. So any shape or any sort of style which you're trying to achieve, often it's volume on the roots, isn't it? For a lady it's volume usually in the root and the crown, loads of that sort of lovely glamorous wave. For a man it's probably height in the fringe, spikiness, that type of thing. You want it to hold. Okay, if you've got fine textured hair, which is light, it instantly goes flat. A wet product will make the hair lose volume almost immediately and it will hold it flat. You want something really, really light and aerated. Okay, that is why I love the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Glue Blasting Free Spray so much because if you've got a style sky high, a quick spritz of that, it holds it and holds it and holds it. Whereas this, it says thin to thick extra volume hairspray, give your locks extra long lasting oomph that comes from the tremendous lift and support of this weightless bodybuilding formula. Yeah, it's a bodybuilding formula, but it's a treatment sort of volumizing, thickener, all of those great things, not as a hairspray. So I, I don't understand that. I really don't, because as you can see, it's a wet look, it holds no hold, and using it as a hairspray, I was very, very disappointed. As you can see, there's not much gone from here, because I haven't used it loads and loads and loads, but I've used it a handful of times in styling my hair, making my hair fuller and appear thicker in the roots. And I can feel the difference from when you've got, because I've got fine hair, okay, I've got this bleach grown out now quite a lot. I had that done back in December, all right, last year. Now, my own hair, my own natural colour hair is really soft, really downy. The bleach, of course, has got its own character. Anybody who knows who's had bleached hair has got its own character. My own hair is really soft and silky and it struggles to hold any volume. This, if you spray it, dry it. Then once it's dry, spray it again and sort of build that up. It gives you the texture and the fullness as of though you've got thicker hair. And you know what? It really works. It works and it creates that nice resistance, that sort of thicker feeling, that illusion of fuller hair. So it really does work. But then go and spray this over your hair as like a hairspray. No, no, it's just not happening. It just doesn't work. In fact, in terms of that, I'd say it was a very, very poor product. But in terms of building volume, thickening, fuller looking hair amazing stuff absolutely amazing i haven't tried the shampoo conditioner that is out there price wise this sits around the 10 pounds mark i paid just over nine pounds for this here in the uk in holland and barrett you can also buy this on amazon a whole host of all different stores um and i know you can get it around to different places in the world as well it is great it has no sulfates no phenolates it has none of those nasty products in here at all and i say nasty Sulfates aren't nasty, but if you've got fine thinning hair, it's really worth trying a product without because that could be giving you a more poor effect in your hair as well. Um, so just be really, really careful of that. Let's go into a little bit more detail here. So this hairspray, biotin, panthenol and styling polymers helps promote healthy hair, restore full body thickness, which it does that. And it says here, give a strokably soft, long lasting hold. 
it doesn't give any hold. It doesn't give any hold. So I will be very honest there. It's no hold at all, but it does help you build in your hair. It really gives you that sort of building block of thicker hair, which is really, really great. So that, 10 out of 10, as a hairspray, zero. Okay, so I don't think I've missed anything from this. Ingredients, just picking out some of the ingredients, which I think is really important. Has got alcohol in here, so just be a little bit careful. I know a lot of people have said to me on my channel, does that not affect your scalp? So always just be a little bit careful. Try it. If it starts to agitate you, obviously don't use it, discontinue using it, but it has got alcohol in here. Um, it has also got some copolymers, and I know they can sometimes build up on the hair a little bit. Somebody did point that out to me on my channel recently of a product I was reviewing. So just if you are concerned with that, what I would say is just every sort of fortnight or every week, perhaps just use a clarifying shampoo, which is going to gently strip all those products out of your hair, but not strip your natural oils and the health and vitality of your hair. So just perhaps be a little bit cautious of that. And if you do find that you'll start having a bit of a problem, then of course address it earlier than later. Okay, so products in here as well. We've got eucalyptus leaf oil in here. So that's really, really great for the scalp. We've got tea tree oil in here as well. Really another great one. We have got the oh, black humorin seed oil in here. We've also got rosemary leaf oil in here, which interestingly enough, I'm going to be reviewing real soon because that has some really great stimulating properties. So it's really great to see that's in here as well. It's great to know that a product is actually working for you on your scalp environment whilst you're wearing it throughout your day as well. So that's really important. So I think that's really great to have that in here too. I just wanted to mention that. Then we have got in here some aloe uh, leaf juice in here. We have got biotin in here, we've got parthenol in here, and I thought we had, yes, spearmint leaf oil in here as well, and that's what you can smell, and that's one of my favourite fragrances, and that is absolutely a really lovely uh, list of ingredients, and really, really great uh, product for building volume and thicker, fuller looking hair. Does it affect my scalp? No, it doesn't. It says also here all day uh, frizz control. As you can see, my hair's getting a bit frizzy from where I sprayed it on the surface here, so I don't really agree with that. But as you can see, it is giving me a ton of volume. Is that taking me? A ton of volume in my hair. Looks a little bit sort of, I will admit, it does make the hair sort of like a little bit sort of frizzy at the ends where I've sprayed that hairspray, but it does make it feel fuller and it and it is a nice product. So for me, it's a styling product. Please do bear that in mind. As you can see, look at the volume which it has allows you to create in your hair. Um, it certainly does. So from that aspect, it's a very good product. Okay, so really hope that you've enjoyed this clip. I certainly have. Thank you very much for sharing this with me. And as you can see, look, still volume here, and it's lastable. That volume which you build in your hair, it lasts. Very good. Okay, <laughs> so on that note, as I say, thank you very much for being here. It means the world that you have shared this clip with me. And until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. Take great care. God bless. Bye for now.